Okay, I'm going to take you through uh, my version of uh, the 2017 uh, pre-release material. Okay, so uh, in the pre-release material, uh, you can see uh, task one here, uh, which is just here. Okay, and uh, in task one, uh, we're told that uh, uh, we are interested in uh, helping senior citizens go on a trip. Okay, and our job is to uh, design a program uh, that uh, where we input the number of senior citizens and then what we're going to do is we are going to calculate the total cost uh, for each senior citizen and then the cost, uh, sorry, the total cost and then the, the, uh, the cost per person for each of the senior citizens, okay? Um, <clears throat> so really, really simple uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write some pseudocode uh, to help us work through this, all right? So... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with some variables. Okay, so uh, I'm going to create a few variables. Okay, so um, one of the things that needs to be input, okay, which is, well, actually, let's do that first. Let's put a table down here and let's think. Okay, so what information are we going to input? Well, the number of information, uh, the information we're going to input is the number of, uh, senior citizen, so I'll call it uh, number of SC, okay, and that's actually all that we're going to input. Uh, then we can think, uh, well, what processing are we going to do? So, uh, we're we'll right in here, uh, the processing, okay. Now, uh, from what I can see, there's a couple of uh, processing things we're going to do. Uh, we're going to um, calculate the number of carers, okay, uh, so calculate num of carers and then 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 what we're going to do is we're going to calculate uh, the total price and then we're going to calculate the price per person so I can't write there we go the price per person okay and uh, so I'll put another line under there uh, then I'm going to run out of room here, I made a bit of a mess. Uh, so then we'll think, well, what am I going to output? Uh, so the two things I'm going to output is the uh, is the total price and the uh, price per person. I'll just put PPP. Okay, so uh, I've got my table there. That highlights what I'm going to do. So uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my variables. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to put a uh, number of SC first, all right, so I'm going to, this is going to go in capital letters, so num of SC, and then we're doing this in pseudocode, so I'll put an arrow in there, and I'll initialize it to uh, zero, okay, so I've created a variable and I've initialized it to zero, uh, and then I'll do uh, num of carers, Okay, and I'm going to initialize. Uh, I'm going to initialize that uh, to zero as well. Okay. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of constants. Okay. So um, if you have a look here, it tells us here the minimum number of students that's needed for the outing to go ahead is ten. Okay. Now that number is not going to change. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it in red to show that it's a constant. Okay, uh, I'm going to add a constant. So I'm going to say um, min. Uh, I'll just put min sc. Okay, and obviously I'm going to set that. This is not going to change because it's a constant. Okay, so I'm going to uh, set that to 10. Okay, so that's in red. That's a constant. And then actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a second constant. All right, which is going to be the max. Okay, so I'm going to have max SC, and I'm going to set uh, that to 36. Okay, so I've got two constants there: uh, minimum number of senior citizens 10, and a maximum number of senior citizens uh, 36. And actually, it's quite nice putting those in constants because um, should uh, if I was a programmer. Uh, and I developed this program and then I handed it over to the, the people that run the, um, uh, the, the, the place that holds all the senior citizens. Okay, um, what I might do is uh, I might want to give it to someone and they might be able to change it later on. So they might change 
uh, maybe it changes where they want to change the minimum number or the maximum number and by uh, putting it into uh, constants like that okay uh, it makes it nice and easy uh, for that to be changed uh, because I just have to change the constant I don't have to go through the code and find where I've used them in the, in the code so uh, that's quite a nice place to use constants there okay so um, I've got me uh, so I've got two variables and I've got two constants let's add some comments in green okay uh, so these are my variables so they're going to change and then these are my constants Okay, so uh, so there we go. So it says the minimum number of senior citizens needed for the outing to go ahead is 10, and there cannot be more than 36 senior citizens on the outing. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do in my program is I'm going to get the user uh, to input, okay, input the number of senior citizens. Now, I need to add some validation on this, okay. Now, the validation I need to add is I need to say that uh, the number they input cannot be less than min SC, and it cannot be greater than max SC, okay. So... Uh, the way I'm going to do that, the way I'm going to do my validation, is actually I'm going to use a uh, do until loop. All right, so I'm going to put do up here, and I'm going to put the condition because this is a do until loop. The the condition is going to be at the bottom. Okay. Now the advantage of using a do until loop is uh, that means that this loop is going to run. I can guarantee they're going to run at least once. Okay. So uh, the user is going to input something. All right. So uh, then all I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, input there we go and uh, num of sc okay so the user so basically I'm telling the user uh, I'm telling the programmer that what I want them to do is I want them to create uh, a line of code that allows the user to input the number of senior citizens okay uh, so do input number of senior citizens, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my until down here. Okay, and I'm going to say keep doing that until uh, num of sc okay, uh, is greater than, and I'll use my red because it's a constant, uh, min sc okay and because we've got two okay and i'm going to put this on the line below just because i run out of room so until num of sc in fact actually what i'll do is i'll just delete this and make it life a bit easier there we go okay so until num of sc is uh, greater than oh sorry min sc and num of SC is less than, and again I'll write it in red, max SC. Okay, now actually I've made a slight mistake there. I wonder if you can spot it uh, because actually it says the minimum number of senior citizens needed for the outing to go ahead is 10. Now, if I say until the number of senior citizens is greater than min SC, well that means it'll keep going even if I input 10. So I want to put greater than or equal to, and that's the same at the other end, because again, I put and number of SE is less than max SE, so if I put 36 in, so it's going to be less than or equal to. Okay, so do input number of SC, and so number of SE is greater than or equal to min SC, and number of SE is later than, uh, less than or equal to max SC. Very nice indeed. Okay, let me just get rid of this box. I think I'm going to need the rest of the room. Okay, so... What we're now going to work on, now we've done that. So we've got the user to input the number of senior citizens. And there we go, I'll just clear that up. So now what we need to do is it says a minimum of two carers must go on the outing with an additional carer if more than 24 senior citizens go on the outing. So what I'm going to do in there is I'm now, now I've got the input, I've, they've input the number of senior citizens, so I'm now going to use an if statement. Okay, so I'm going to say if... And I'm going to say the number of senior citizens, okay, if it is, uh, what does it say, a minimum with an additional carry if more than 24. So if number of senior citizens is greater than 24, okay, now that's actually another little constant I could make there, but we'll come back to that later. So if the number of senior citizens is greater than 24, 
What am I going to do? Uh, then I'm going to put then. That's it. Apologize for my handwriting. Okay, and so if the number of students is greater than 24, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the uh, num of carers. And I'm going to set that to uh, three. Else, okay. So if if it's not greater than twenty-four, then I actually only need two carers. So I can say num of carers equals two. All right, and I don't want to forget my end if just here. Okay, so. Uh, if we have a look, then let's just uh, let's just recap what we've done. Okay, so uh, here again, I'm going to mark it in green. All right, here we are getting our input, and as well as our getting our input, we are doing some validation. Okay, uh, here we're using some selection because we're using an if statement. So here's an example of some selection. And we're going to do some more selection in a minute, and of course. Up here as well as having some inputs and validation, we've also got a loop. All right, and be prepared in the exam uh, to be able to uh, maybe write these algorithms out. So you may have to, uh, you may be asked uh, to explain how you validated the number of senior citizens. Okay, so be uh, make sure you are able to do that. Uh, so we can carry on. I'm not sure if I'm going to have room. I may have to move on to another page. All right, but we'll use the uh, the blue anyway. And carry on. So it says. Uh, carers do not have to pay anything for the outing. Work out the total cost. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work out the total cost. Okay, so we're going to need to use an if statement again. Okay, so uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to put another if statement in here. And we're going to say if, uh, now I'm just going to say if the number of SC plus the number of carers okay and basically if we look here I'm going to use my red again it says if there are 12 to 16 people okay so all I need to do is I'm just going to put if the number of senior citizens plus the number of carers is less than or equal to 16 all right then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the cost okay so I'm going to put my then in there Like so. Okay, there we go. And if we have a look, it's just going to be 150 uh, plus um, the number of senior citizens, the number of carers times 14 plus 21. All right, so I can put that in uh, nicely, and I can say, I can say, then we can say uh, total equals. Okay, and it's going to be 150 plus. This is going to be annoying. So what I should have done is I should have made an extra variable, which you might want to include, uh, to use to, for the total number. Because uh, at the moment, I'm constantly having to add the total number of senior citizens plus the total number of carers, which is just a bit of a faff. Uh, it's that multiplied by uh, 14. Okay. So that works out that bit, and then it's that again, plus, and then I'm going to have to write that again. This is why I should have had an extra variable, shouldn't I? Okay, it's going to be the uh, num of SC plus the num of carers. All right, and this time it's going to be multiplied by 21. Okay, and I've closed that bracket, and so I've got total equals. Ah, now look what I've done there. I shouldn't have used an equals there. Let me write that L back in. Right, that should be an arrow there. Okay, so I've got total equals 150 plus the total number of people coming. Basically, that's what I'm adding together here. Times that by 14 plus, uh, again, the total number of people coming and times that by 21. Okay, and that works out the total. All right, now I'm not going to have enough room to do it, but I'm sure you can imagine what I'm now going to write in. So then I could put uh, else, and I haven't got enough room, so um, there we go. So then I could have, uh, oh, sorry, my pen is not working down there too well. Let's try that. 
try it just over there. there it's better there no, not quite yeah, there we go so then we can put else if okay and uh, this time it's going to be so this time it would be and i'm not going to write it in because i'm going to run out of room but this time it would be else if the number of senior citizens plus the number of carers is less than or equal to 26 and then work out the total okay and then do we need another else if no we just need an else okay uh, to do the final one now uh, a couple of questions um, otherwise I'm going to finish uh, just a couple of questions um, why don't I need to put as if you look at my if here so I'm going to use my green again uh, I say less than or equal to 16 now some of you might have thought that I would need to put if number of SC plus number of carers is less than or equal to 16 and greater than 12 or greater than or equal to 12 all right, so I wonder if you can work out why I don't need to put that. Okay, there is a reason, uh, and uh, it'd be you know it'd be a useful thing if you knew that would help you get extra marks. Okay, um, so basically that is task one. Uh, I have not got enough room to finish it, uh, but hopefully that will help you with uh, task one. Okay, um, thank you very much. Uh, watch out for task two coming soon.